Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on statistics. In this video, we'll be looking at calculating the median of grouped data. So we have the problem. The frequency distribution table below shows the lifespan of poultry birds in Onina farm. Calculate the median of the distribution. So we have the lifespan as class interval from 50 to 9900 to 149 up till 500 to 549 and then we have the number of beds given for the respective class intervals so we go ahead to calculate the median of the grouped data so we've arranged the table in a vertical form um, first, we start from the formula for median of grouped data, which is median equal to LM, that is the lower class boundary of the median class, summation of F, which is the sum of the frequency divided by 2, minus CFBN, that is cumulative frequency before the median class, frequency of the median class, and the class width or class size. We're going to create more columns on the table so that we'll now have the cumulative frequency, then the lower class boundary. For the cumulative frequency, we'll be looking at the frequency of the frequency table. And here, the first class interval, the frequency is 14. Therefore, the cumulative frequency will still remain 14. For the next class interval, the cumulative frequency is adding this 14 to 36 to give us 50. And the next one is going to be adding this 50 to 55 to give us 105. In the same way, 105 will be added to 68 to give us 173. 173 will be added to 76 to give us 249. 249 will be added to 62 to give us 311. 311 will be added to 45 to give us 356. 356 will be added to 22 to give 378. 378 will be added to 12 to give us 390. And finally, 390 to be added to 10 to give us 400. Please be informed that this 400 is the total population of the distribution. That is the sum of all the frequencies, which will still be required later. Now we go ahead to calculate the lower class boundary. For the lower class boundary, it will be obtained from the lower limits of the respective class interval. And to get the first one, be informed that if there is a class interval before this, the upper class interval will be 49. So to get the lower class boundary of this class, we are going to add the 49 to 50 and then divide by 2. And that will give us 49.5. In the same way, to get the lower class boundary of the second class interval, it's going to be 99 plus 100, then divide by 2 to give us 99.5. For the third class interval, it's going to be 149 plus 150, then we divide the sum by 2 to give us 149.5. In the same way, 199 plus 200 divided by 2 gives 199.5. 249 plus 250 divided by 2 gives 249.5. 299 plus 300 divided by 2 gives 299.5. 349 plus 350 divided by 2 gives 349.5. 399 plus 400 divided by 2 gives 399.5. 449 plus 450 divided the sum by 2 gives 449.5. 349 plus 
499 plus 500 divided by 2 gives 499.5. So we've gotten the lower class boundary for each of the class interval. So we said we need the sum of the frequencies, which has been confirmed to be 400. From here, we need to calculate each parameter in the formula. Starting from LM, we said LM is the lower class boundary of the median class. So we have to identify the median class. To identify the median class, we divide the 400, which is the total population, by 2. It gives 200. We now look at the cumulative frequency. Where do we have 200 and something? And where we have 200 and something is 249. That is where the median class is. So that's where the median class is. That is to say, if we have 500, it will be 500 divided by 2, that will give us 250. We now look for where 250 falls into within the cumulative frequency, and so on. So assuming our population is 600, you should know that at that point, our median class will fall here, which is 300 to 349. So I hope you get that. That is how to identify the median class. Having known the median class, we can then go ahead to find LM, which is the lower class boundary of the median class. And that gives 249.5. Then the next thing we need to find summation of F over 2. We've gotten our summation of F to be 400. Then we are dividing it by 2 to give 200. So sigma F over 2 is 200. Here CFBF means cumulative frequency before median class. So before median class, the cumulative frequency is 173. Please be informed that this is so because the class interval is arranged in ascending order. If it is arranged in descending order, then we will now look at the cumulative frequency after the median class. So we then go further to find the FM, which is the frequency of the median class. So the median class has the frequency of 76. Then we now look at the class width or class size. This is a uniform class size. The class size is the same for all the class interval. This distribution has equal class size. That is to say, 99.5 minus 49.5 will give us 50. 149.5 minus 99.5 will give us 50. 199.5 minus 149.5 will give us 50. So the class size is 50. I think we've gotten all the parameters needed to calculate our median. We then go ahead to calculate the median. So for the median, our LM is 249.5, then plus sigma F over 2. We've calculated it to be 200. So we have 200 minus 173. 173 is the cumulative frequency before median class. Then over the frequency of the median class, which is 76, then we are multiplying it by the class width, which is 50. Um, we are going to use our calculator here. So we have 249.5 plus, now we simplify the bracket, 200 minus 173, Divide the difference by 76 and multiply your quotient by 50. We are going to have 17.76. Adding it to 249.5, we have 267.26, which represents the median of 
the distribution in this table. I hope you love this. Enjoy the lesson. Please like and share this video. Remember also to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on statistics. Until we come your way again, goodbye.